Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys a really cool app that I found that I think you guys would like a lot. It's called Clear Spaces and it's a very cool app if you want to customize your home screen. So what this app essentially does is it helps you to create a clear space on your iPhone. So where there would normally be an app or a widget, there's just a clear space. You can only see your wallpaper. So it is a very, very cool app that I really recommend you guys try out. It's a little hard to explain, so I'd rather show you guys how this app actually works. Do be advised, this app isn't free. It does cost money. In the US, it's about 199 on the App Store. Here in South Africa, it's 34 rand, so just depending on your currency. But it is not a free app, but it's not very expensive at all for what you're getting so it's a one-time purchase luckily it's not like a monthly subscription thing one-time purchase and then you get all its features so yeah it is a paid app but i really recommend it for you guys who are interested in it when you open up the app it basically gives you a quick guide to how the app works and all of its features and just the basics of how to set up the clear spaces app so that it can actually create clear spaces on your home screen it is a very easy setup and I think anyone will basically get the hang of it. The biggest thing you need to know is how to actually like take a screenshot of your home screen so you can add it within Clear Spaces app. So what you essentially do is when you have your home screen, hold down on your screen until you go into edit mode so all your apps and things will jiggle. Go to a new page that is completely bank and take a screenshot so then you can clearly see your entire wallpaper. And then what you need to do is you just go into clear spaces and import that screenshot that you just took into the app and then it will calculate basically where everything's positioned. So then when you go to your home screen again and you add a widget, you can clearly add a clear space to your home screen. Setting up the widget is really, really easy. All you need to do is hold down and click on edit widget and then you have some options there. So the first basic setup for just getting your clear space is just whether you have a small, medium or large, you have different positions. So for the small widgets, you have top left or right, middle left or right or bottom left or right. For the medium size widgets, you have top, middle or bottom and for the big widgets, you just have top or bottom and then it will adjust your wallpaper accordingly within the widget and then you're basically good to go then you can see there's a clear space on your widget i did show you guys an example um, i changed my wallpaper in the middle of recording to show you guys a more complicated wallpaper so you can clearly see if you have the wrong positioning what it will look like and just selecting the positioning is the key thing with this to make it work so that is a big thing and also one of the biggest things you also need to know is when setting your wallpaper make sure you have the perspective zoom off because that makes your wallpaper move around so then the clear spaces widgets won't line up perfectly all the time i have an example here of where it didn't work that well because my perspective zoom was on so make sure you turn that off otherwise it will mess up with the whole clear spaces um, look so definitely check that out as well when setting up your wallpaper and one of the coolest things about the clear spaces app is not just the fact that you can create clear spaces is you can add things over those clear spaces to give you some more information but still have a minimal look so i really really like this feature and i think this is what makes the app actually worth it because you actually get some more features than just having a clear space so what you can essentially do is you can add a time or your battery percentage or text or something on that clear space to get a bit more information but still have it look minimal so here's an example of what it looks like like when you add like a clock to your clear spaces widget and it looks so minimal and nice and you still get the look of your wallpaper but you still have some information extra so the information options section gives you a few things that you can add so you basically have none or you can select clock digital or analog you have date both so that's clock and date and then you have text or battery percentage so that is essentially how you add some more information to your clear spaces widgets without it being too like cluttered or anything is a very minimal look so that is also a very cool thing with this app that i think makes it very worth it with all the information options that you get within these widgets you also have some additional settings that come in the app so if i click on a widget here you'll see it takes me to the app and then i can go to this section here that has a little command icon click on that and then you see you have your widget center where you can set up a bunch of settings so you can create color spaces so here you can see color spaces you can then just like like a certain color on a block so if you don't just want a clear space you actually want a color you can set that up you can also set up text so when you select a text option you can choose which text you want to do pick a font and you can also choose the color of that and also the font size so that is also a nice thing to do when setting up text for your widgets if you want something on there 
You also have customized dates. So again, you can change the text color, the font and the font size. The digital time, um, you can also adjust again font and everything. The battery option, you also have different colors that you can choose for the ring color, the iPhone icon color and the text color. And once you're done setting all this up, you can go ahead and export that space to your home screen. So you can just see from the app, you can add those widgets as well. So you don't have to go to your home screen, set it up, you can do it within the app as well. So the settings here are very customizable that you can also play around with to make it fit your look for your phone more. Um, I'm fine with the settings that I have now, but you can edit that as well if you're interested in doing that. So that is a very, very cool also option that you have for clear spaces is going into the app and playing around with the settings that they have there. It's very, very cool that they have all those options for you. It just makes buying this app more worth it. You can also pair focuses with these clear spaces widgets just to make your focuses more customized as well. So there are so many different things you can do with this app. I really recommend checking it out. Another cool thing I recommend you check out with the clear spaces is using clear spaces widgets with stacks. So you know you have stacks on your iPhone for widgets so you can stack a bunch of widgets on top of each other. So how you essentially set up a stack is you just go ahead and put your phone into edit mode by long pressing on anywhere on their screen then you just add in a stack so this year you can see it says smart stack at the top of my screen but you can also scroll down you'll see first option there is smart stack so you can choose small medium or large and then i'm just going to add a small one right now and then you can obviously go in that stack and edit which widgets you want there um, what apps you want access to so i'm just going to remove all of these and the information that i want to have displayed here i think is going to be um, my battery widget for instance. For this to work you also need to turn off smart rotate on and widget suggestion on um, for the smart stack because that's just not going to work for this otherwise it's going to automatically scroll and ruin the effect that we're looking for. So we're going to add in a clear space um, widget the small one here and then I'm going to add in my battery widget and then you'll see this is what it looks like again turn off smart rotate and widget suggestion turn that off click on done and then you'll see it just fades away and looks like a clear space but then when I scroll you'll see it's actually widget so I can choose whether I want a clear space there or I just want to see whatever information is within my widget stack. I 100% saw this inspiration from a YouTuber called Knoopsy. Um, he had a whole setup on his iPhone and I think it looks pretty cool so just to share with you guys how to essentially get that look that is essentially what you do is just use the smart stacks feature for widgets and just put a clear spaces also in that stack of widgets and it's good to go so that is also another thing you can do to use this app to its full advantage so yeah, that's the Clear Spaces app. I really hope you guys found this video interesting and got some inspiration in what to do for your home screen and just see how to use this app. I really recommend it. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any other questions regarding this app or anything and leave suggestions for other videos you'd like to see from me. Definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other iPhone customization related videos and click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!